hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and this is lay edit on today's video i'm going to show you guys how you can create these glow effects with your smartphone using photoshop ps 2019 so before we get started don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification button to get more of my content with no further ado let's get designing on today's video I'll show you guys how you can actually get this glow effect done using your smartphone on PSCC 2019 and if you don't have this installed on your phone a link is provided in the description where you can download it for free so now in two easy steps I'll show you guys how I was able to achieve that using just my smartphone so but first before we actually start designing we will need a background to work with so let's fill this with gradient so this is a color gradient which I already created here and you can also create yours so I'll be giving a lecture for any color you intend using so so I'm not right here. You can really walk around the gradient. So be it for yellow, be it for yellow, green, whatever color you intend using, just come around here and work it out. So for this, I will come back with this. Right, so that's good. Now let's import our first element. Which is this brush stroke? So you can get this downloaded from Pinterest. Search um, grunge brush stroke or dry brush stroke. So she will get something close to this. And this will also be provided in the description for download for those of you who actually will like to practice. <clears throat> sorry, those who actually like to practice and follow now so let's get designing now let the head over here we'll be making use of a little bit of copy and paste so you can actually get it done here so i usually like to copy and reserve my elements just in case so now we're making use of the word magic wand to select our element so right over here let's increase the tolerance to around 80 so click on the black good now head over here inverse selection great then delete now we have this great now to fill this select head over here fill and stroke then fill with white good now this select and edible to transform shape it properly so you can also warp it depending on whatever you intend um achieving so that's based on your pov and designing aim now this being done let's place it so right here let's bring this right here okay good now let's duplicate this duplicate layer and close this now back to this head over to fx then under style head over to glass so this will give it that glass effect so I've noticed some designer actually using this so some uses the Photoshop software some might achieve it <coughs> using liquify so but here we'll be making use of the glass effect so around the scaling aspect let it be at one yes let it be at just one don't let it be too much one or below one 
so that's good enough <coughs> now back to this make it visible again now the reason we left this is that we'll be making use of this to create our glow effect and color overlay now since the background is blue we also want this to reflect a little bit of blue light to blend in well with the background so now we select this then head over to fill and stroke now let's select from our image using the eyedropper tool drag it right here now make this as bright as you can make it as bright as you can good let's leave it around here great now deselect head over to fx basic gradient blow now max it out max it out max it out max it out great now click on that done now head over here to layers then your blend mode change it from normal to linear touch so as you can see it's giving that great effect and if you also design with photoshop software this method also works well if you actually intend creating glow effect on characters this method also works well now back to our design now if you actually feel the glow effect was a bit too much and you want to reduce it due to the edges and that so you can either just add over to Grishan blow and add in more blow to make it fade out as you can see or you can head over here under eraser tweak your brush properly then you can erase out some parts which you feel is coming out too much right there so now that is that so let's add in a character now that's the first step so let's add in a character now i currently don't have much so let's just make use of this 46 add great so now the use of a character will actually help us know how to reflect the light yes so let's add in our character right here great now the second step is to add in a lens flare so i think i have a particular lens flare right here great now adding your lens flare head back to fx grisham blow I think this is a bit too much okay now we want this we want to change this to a different color i personally just click on black and white but at times i do notice that it doesn't actually sit in right if you change it to just black and white so screen now so this, the other method there is you can actually come around the um, level or curve but I personally will just go for black and white like I said at times whenever you change the blend mode you might probably still see some dark edges so you can clear those with the razor tool just like we did for the glow effect now great so let's copy this also duplicate and save now this should be brought to the back to create the light effect from the back of our character now end over right here to adjust then levels now since we're working with blue right here so we will need more blue to show now head over to green reduce head over to red and reduce as you can see 
great now this darkens and this makes it more brighter so tweak it properly depending on what you intend achieving and then okay now let's also duplicate duplicate and let's reserve this now transform and bring it right to the back of your character so this will separate your character from the background and also create a light effect mark that so head over to your blend mode and add linear dodge great as you can see now for the other one depending on what you intend achieving i will bring this around here right there then layer reduce the opacity don't let it be too much and leave it on screen as you can see so this is looking good enough so here is how you can truly really create the glow effect now an extra tip you might probably wonder and might have seen some other designer achieving this with a more crusty feel on the background so you can also get that done but i personally feel this is good enough this is good enough so to get that done i would normally head over to my layer then match down great so when i'm done i'll duplicate you're probably wondering why i keep duplicating my reason based on so i will reserve that now done so select one and end over to fx now stylize glass so you can add in that glass feel as you can see so if you feel the crustiness isn't looking didn't give that similar vibe just like that which you saw on another designer's page this is how you can also actually get that done as you can see as you can see so when done just select now you probably want to get rid of this layer looking all crusted and not smooth that's why you convert to your eraser one more time and then erase erase carefully erase as you can see carefully erase and there it is so that is how you can actually create the glow effect on photoshop PSCC 2019 so don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification button for more of my content you can also follow me on my instagram at lee the designer and if you need any help consigning the video or resources you can dm me on my instagram page or my whatsapp number so give us a good review comment share to a friend who might need this and if you need any other video being done Drop it in the comment section and I will provide them. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Stay connected.